Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Queen of Cups and the Devil. Energies for your person, the Death card and the Eight of Wands. Between you and your person, we have the Five of Pentacles. Meeting energies, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. The Oracle cards, Soulmates and the Deep Knowing. Well, guys, some of you are about to receive news, eight of ones, from a person that you know extremely well. This can be a former lover. It can even be a soulmate for some of you guys. The connection went cold if we follow the five of pentacles, kind of no contact, feeling left out in the cold. It can be about your person. They can reach out because they can try to say to you that if you agree to get back together, Things can be completely different this time. I am looking at the devil, guys, which seems to be how you can perceive the connection right now, even if it started with high hopes, especially from the emotional perspective, because of the Queen of Cups. So I want to say that some of you had love for this person. Maybe there is still something that you can feel for this person, but the devil is no joke because it is a cycle. It can be a soul to soul connection, a soul contract, a soul tie, but it's an energy about excesses for me. And if we think about the five of pentacles, the foundations of this connection were not strong enough. And yes, the passionate side of the situation maybe was off the charts, but still, the Two of Pentacles can describe how you can react as soon as this person breaks silence. So do you believe that it can be possible for the two of you to be more successful in this type of reconciliation? Or do you consider the chapter as one that already belongs to the past? Because you will have to read the intentions of your person like the Queen of Cups can do in order to figure out if there can be a viable road for the two of you to be successful together. Because if you get some doubts, it means that deep within, deep knowing, you may think that the connection is going to be just the same. And it was problematic at some point, guys. That's why the two of you parted ways. This person is not cool with that. They want to try again. And basically the crossroads that you will face is one between the four of wands and the nine of pentacles. So the make it or break it moment for this connection will allow you guys to decide if you want to try again with this person because they can also offer to you a four of wands opportunity, at least on paper. Then the practical side of the process can be a question mark. Or if you want to stay single, in order to pursue other situations, because again, deep within, you may not consider this person as the fair companion for you. So a lot will depend on the struggles that we can associate to the devil, five of pentacles combination of energies, struggles that didn't allow the connection to be successful and productive along the first attempt. Let's pull more cards. Let's see what we can get. These eight of wands, guys. Cupid's arrows, arrows of love coming your way. Knight of swords for the queen of cups. Eight of cups for the devil on point as an energy. Two of cups for the death card. Please forgive me. Let's try again. Page of cups. Here we go. The apology for the eight of wands. High priestess for the two of pentacles, five of wands, for the four of wands, a lot of turmoil, and the devil again, for the nine of pentacles. Guys, it can be a powerful soulmate, so the return of the soulmate, but also a challenging and problematic one for some of you. This person can say that they love you. They are crazy in love with you, but what is love for this person? Because it can be a situation in which this person can say that love is supposed to be tough, challenging, and all that BS, guys. I do not think that you can be available to keep buying those words, Knight of Swords. 
It can be a coin flip, meaning that you can be surprised by the return of this person, but then some of you may also overreact when this person reaches out because of the struggles that they have put you through along the connection, struggles that we can always associate to the devil. So eight of cups, you left behind this situation because at least from your perspective, the two of cups energy was missing and there were a lot of shenanigans because of the moon in the background. So let's say misunderstandings. The two of you were not on the same page about important things, especially if we follow the four of ones, which is a vision for me. So connection called as eyes. Now we can say that because of the priestess, when this person reaches out, because they can have an apology for you, the page of cups, it can be difficult for them to break the ice, but they will try to do that nonetheless. A lot of turmoil can be experienced by some of you guys. You have to go within. You have to ask yourself if you still want this person and if you still want this connection. The odds may not be in favor of this individual because the Nine of Pentacles lady, thanks to the experiences that she has gathered and so that you guys have gathered along the connection, can realize that there is a high risk to face the same old cycle together with this person, even if they say that everything is going to be different. I don't think so. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? The Emperor, ooh, the Four of Wands again. The Empress and the Seven of Wands, well, look at the combination of energies. The emperor can be your person. They want the four of wands because they have already lost the connection one time. You can be the empress and you can resist seven of wands, the return of the soulmate. This is incredible. You can resist this person because deep within, you can be already aware of the fact that you cannot find a healthy growth, a healthy development together with this person because the connection has been built on shaky foundations, five of pentacles, and there was a cycle that was merely one about lust and possession, guys, because this person can mistake a romantic connection as one of those situations in which the partner is almost like a possession and the emperor can fall for the mentality my way or the highway. So this person may think that they can get whatever they want whenever they want it and how they want it. Well, not this time, not this time, guys. But if there is an advice, it can be the one to resist the fights and the arguments, even if some of you can be upset with this person, maybe for several reasons. What's the obstacle? The fact that maybe some of you are done with the situation already. Wheel of Fortune, this person wants to turn back time, Eight of Cups recurrent energy, and the Moon. We have briefly talked about the energy in the background of the Eight of Cups, misunderstandings, guys, maybe secrets or unpleasant situations. Uh, maybe for some of you, if this person was not exactly focused on the connection, and maybe we can even think about potential betrayals, but speaking more in general, this person can be obsessed with you, intoxicated with the connection, especially from its physical and sexual side. I think, guys, that some of you may not be available to try again. You can truly be the figure in red in the Eight of Cups. And you may have the opportunity to let this person know that you have moved on already and you have no intention to come back to the old battlefield. This person may not take that well, guys. So you may have to be smart. Even if we think about the conversation, you will have to manifest the high priestess energy. If we think about the ability to make a point clear with just a few words, let's ask for guidance about this situation. Justice, right and fair evaluation in order to make a right and fair decision. And the verdict that some of you can offer to this person can be one that can disappoint them. 
Ooh, the tower. My goodness, these energies. The tower has already blown up in the past because of the Five of Pentacles. This person is trying to put all the pieces back together. King of Pentacles and the Strength card. The King of Pentacles is interesting, guys. It can be about the two of you if we think about two people kind of in a good position in the journey at the moment. Then this person can talk about commitment, King of Pentacles for once. They want it, they want it, they want it. Some of you can resist the opportunity, Strength card. Matter of trust and patience. So we can even say that your patience has run out already and that's why the connection ended the first time and the two of you parted ways. Wheel of Fortune, basically the wheel spinning in your favor, new chapter, but without this person. They are not done yet, so they can circle back to you, but because you do not trust them anymore, you can resist seven of wands, the avances, eight of wands, that this person can throw at you, kind of by saying that they are madly in love with you. But the point is that they have lost the key to open your heart. The penguin on the right is holding the key to open the heart of the penguin on the left, but the concept can also go vice versa. And it seems that this person will struggle a lot to be successful in this reconciliation because some of you may not feel it and may not want to pursue it. Guys, the Empress is not going to settle for a small situation and this connection if not small, has been at least a problematic one. And that's why some of you made the conscious decision to let the tower fall at some point, even if it was a rough transition, but it seems that there is no going back from that point. And some of you can keep moving forward. This person can struggle to accept that outcome, but this is the outcome that they seem to be destined to get. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.